Steve Cooper survives the latest scare on his job with a one-all draw at Wolves as Maranakis kind of backs him. But this could be yet another stay of execution. Welcome to your Forest News. Good morning, good evening, or good night. Hope you're well, and welcome to your latest Forest News. In today's video, we're going to be covering off a bit about yesterday and the fallouts from it, and the latest breaking news on Steve Cooper's job. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to Forest Fan TV, and a massive thank you to all of you who came on the phone in show yesterday. It was interesting to hear all the different views, the Cooper ins, Cooper outs, but I think most people seem to be in a bit of mixed emotions from what I could make out on the calls. Maybe slightly swaying back now towards Cooper in after Forrest were able to get a draw with Wolves. But the only voice that really matters right now is that of Maranakis. And what is he saying about the situation? Because this was the final game, according to the mainstream media. Cooper had to, most thought, win. But what did a draw do? A draw really did throw the cat amongst the pigeons in this all. So we'll be covering that off in just a second. And don't forget tonight at about 8 p.m. We'll have Grumpy Old Reds where we'll talk in detail about yesterday's game and what's going to happen going forward as the club still feels in a little bit of turmoil to me. All right, let's get into this and let's kick it off with Steve Cooper. Okay, so is Steve Cooper now in a state of execution? Has the can been kicked down the road towards Spurs? And what will happen pending the result on Spurs? Well, let's tell you what's been, uh, what's been coming out now in terms of the reports. And the word on the street now is the immediate pressure on Steve Cooper has eased after Forrest drew with Wolves yesterday. The performance and the result at Molyneux has um, softened Maranakis to a degree. He was impressed with the spirit and the fight from the players that they showed and that they still have the belief of the manager. So, small statement there. We don't know if it's directly from Maranakis or sources or what have you, but Sky Sports have reported it, TalkSport have reported it, etc. And what does this exactly mean? Well, I feel like it means the can is kicked down the road. I feel like Maranakis himself is sitting on the fence. Why? Because he's not come out and said his job is safe. He's not come out and said must win against Spurs. This is, for me, 100% sitting on the fence. And the question is why? My, my gut feeling says that if Maranakis were to come out and back Steve Cooper fully and say he's our manager, <clears throat> and then let's just say Spurs Tonk Forest on Friday. What position does that leave him in? He can't publicly back him four days before a match or five days, whatever it is. And then in the same breath after Spurs go to sack him. This is starting to get really messy. But I think that if you are Cooper in or you are Cooper out, this is above it for me. And it needs to be clarified because it's just going to continue to cause um, debates, arguments, rumors, accusations, and all of this at the club. Now, I'm still firmly of the belief that manager needs to go and needs to be changed. I saw nothing yesterday that really changed much. When you look at the stats, Forrest still didn't win. We're one win in the last 12, still two from 28 away from home. No wins in the last five. Pretty much the worst away record in the league. The third worst um, goal difference. Third worst points tally. Every stat still points at not greatness at Nottingham Forest. But if you're Cooper in, I get you have your sentimentality, re sentimentality reasons, etc. Maybe you saw something in yesterday's performance. What I will say is that the fan base who are backing Cooper are acting like we won yesterday. Where to me, really what we saw was Forest do what they normally do when they take a lead. And that was sit back and try and hold on. And that never worked when we saw it yesterday. I think Wolves were not that good, and if Forrest had attacked them a little, maybe we could have gone 2-0 up. Instead, the inevitable goal came. I thought the second half was way better. I thought Forrest started to actually string some passes together. But outside of that, honestly, did I see huge, huge improvements in the performance? Not really. And we roll on to Spurs now. But anyway, back to the statement from Maranakis. Now he's saying, and this key line here, 
the fight from the players which has shown him that they still believe in the manager. I don't know how much I believe this one as well. I will agree that the players who were on the pitch looked like they were fighting for either the club, the badge, or the manager, or all of the above. But these are not the players that were invested in into the summer. Barring Elanga, barring Turner, and barring Murillo, the rest were all at least from last year's batch. So, is this a divide between the new players versus the old players? Dominguez didn't get on the pitch. Sangare didn't get on the pitch. And one or two others as well. So is it really all roses suddenly? Because after Fulham, it really didn't look that way. But back to the point here. I actually think I disagree with Maranakis. I think he needs to make a decision. Now, if that decision is to back Cooper, then back him. If that decision is to sack him, then sack him. But this is just unrest and it's not going to help anyone. If he came out today and said, I'm backing Cooper, he's um, got, you know, the rest of the season or whatever. Fine, I wouldn't agree with it, but at least it would settle the club down. And then I could get behind his decision. This whole juggling and spinning the plates in the air, I don't think it's the right approach. And I think this one's on Maranakis. And I love Maranakis. You guys know how much I go on about what a great owner he is. But it just doesn't feel like a balanced enough decision for me. Because if we lose to Spurs, then what? That's the big question for me. Then what? If we then go on to Bournemouth the following week and we lose Bournemouth for in good form, that could happen. Then what? Then we've got Newcastle and Manchester United away and home. Then what? It's just, it's just cans being kicked down the road constantly without a clear indication of the way Maranakis wants to go. My gut feeling says Maranakis wanted to sack him, but the fan outcry stopped it from happening. And is that a way that an owner should be running the club? I don't think so. He's very firm when he comes to his decisiveness at Olympiacos, and he's very patient when it comes to Nottingham Forest. So, a bit of difference in terms of the style he does. And I always hear Maranakis is quick to pull the trigger on this, that, and the other. We haven't really seen that over the last couple of years of Cooper. Cooper's had three vote of confidences so far in the Premier League and has survived them all so far. But I will sympathise a bit here with Cooper. He's going to go into the Spurs game now thinking what? Now I'm sure there's probably been behind the doors um, conversations happening with the hierarchy. Maybe he gets a bit more clarity. But assuming he's basing his future on what's being said here, then how does that leave him and how does that leave him to focus on the team? So as I said, even though I'm Cooper out right now, I would be happy if Maranakis came out and just said I'm backing him and that's it, end of debate, end of discussion, because then we could all move on and try and figure out the best way forward. But the biggest worry for me is what I'm now expecting to see from Cooper. Now that he's gone to his beloved comfort blanket of the back five formation, Against a Wolves team that really haven't got enough to penetrate up front once you low block them out. Is this what we're going to expect to see now going forward? Because forget Cooper in, Cooper out. That style of football is just painful and boring to watch. And it's just not my cup of tea, man. And it also tells you that Cooper clearly had pressure on him to play a more progressive, a more... Um, sustainable way of football with a back four, with a bit more attack, with a bit more possession. And he couldn't do it. One win in 12 shows you that he couldn't do it. And therefore, is Marinakis now saying he's happy with low block? Because we all know he doesn't want that style of play. I thought there'd be more answers than questions come 5 p.m. yesterday. And it's clear to me now there are still just as many questions, if not more, um, than there were before the Wolves game and not a lot of answers. So how do you guys feel about all of this? Do you think Maranakis should have come out and backed Cooper if he wants him in, or sacked him? Or do you think his approach of sitting on the fence is the right one? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll really get under the bonnet of all of this tonight on Grumpy Old Reds at about 8 p.m., so make sure you're around for that one. But I am really interested in your thoughts on this latest statement coming out from the club. If you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. And we'll see you tonight. Come on, you Reds.